So somebody wants to get started. They have a few of their friends, local dentists. What do you do? You call a big meeting? Uh, Where does is, it begin? Uh, it usually starts with a champion. Some guy says, hey, you know, I got a group of people that I think we would make a good group. We have like values. We, we, we do dentistry the same. We're in the same study clubs. And I will go out there and do a presentation for three, four hours, something like that. Or yeah. I do a webinar, whatever it might three, be. Three, four hours? That's a long time. I'm kidding. I mean, no, it's a I'm shot. Right. It's a shot. You Not know, I, I want them to know what the future is. And then from there, the champion or, or a small number of people come and say, okay, how do we put together a group? Good. And then I have a process that takes them through. In six months, they understand. They understand what it... When you go to business school, you do this thing called case study. So, you know, in IBM, what, what they do is, is that they, they have a class of 100 and they break you up into small groups and then they say, come up with a business solution for this issue. Come up with a business that will succeed in, inside of this industry. So I do that. I use that model. I have break up the, them into small groups and each of the groups have to, has to put together a group that's going to produce $25 million a year by the end of the course. That's their mission. Now, what they come up with, it's pretty amazing. They're very inventive. They go out. They visit other doctors who are in groups. They do. They learn how to be a board. They learn try, in terms of what would work in their region for them, for their values, for their vision of dentistry. And then at the end, we put it all together and say, okay, take the best practice, take the best of all of this, and put it together. And now, are you willing to take, write a check? Commitment shows up in two places, calendar and checkbook. So now we're asking, okay, now you got to fund this thing. You got to hire people. You got to, you know, write some large checks to, to really make this thing happen. And if they want to go forward, they do. And if they don't, they don't. But at least they know what they could do if the time arises. Do people ever call you secretly and they because they've heard about you and they say, hey, you know, Mark, uh, I got these five guys. You know, I don't think it's. A I want secret. you to talk to them. I mean, but do they yes. ever call you like that? I have a group in Duluth right now that we're beginning to. We're going to start probably in October, or maybe September. It's exactly like that. He he's been a somewhat of a student of mine. He's come to my conferences. He's really followed. He's really tried hard, and he's again he's a champion. He he knows that this is the future, and he's willing to put himself at risk to make that future happen. And that's a leader. A leader puts himself at risk. So if we don't have that leadership, it rarely happens. You need, you need leadership to make this thing spark and go. So what is the turnaround time? And we have to move to this next segment. So if you have six or eight dentists, they've read your books, I think you've written about eight of them, and uh, they go, I, we want to do it. How soon can they be up and running with a group? I would say the first phase would take six to eight months to learn what to do and how to do it and to become a group. Okay. Become a group so that they actually understand how to communicate, how to interact, understand the model that they were going to use, wow. how they're going to do it, how much it's going to cost them, how are they going to put it together, are they going to keep their own locations, are they going to start a campus? They have to figure all that out first. And then there's a point where you go, okay, now that you know what to do, do you want to do it? It's a choice point, I call it. Now it's time to commit. If they commit, it can take uh, any, depending on a lot of environment. If everything works out well, I would say a year to a year and a half, maybe, maybe less, because you have to add. And a, you're there the whole way. Actually, I'm, I'm less there because they really know what they're doing. They are now hiring attorneys. They're hiring uh, so CFOs. You connect them with all these people. Right. Okay, I got you. Yeah, so by, after, after about a year, uh, you know, I, I just check in once a month with their board and say, okay, what's going on? How, how are you doing against strategic plan? Where are you in your uh, operating agreements? You know, I coach the board and the chair, or if people have issues that come up, I will do that. But I, my job is to have them be able to do it themselves. That's my job. Interesting, okay, good. Well, you know what, uh, Mark, always a pleasure always to have pleasure. you on my show. I'm always surprised. <laughs> and I always underestimate you. Well, I underestimate a lot of people, but uh, you know, uh, great stuff. Good. Great, great content. Thanks oh, for having always me. a pleasure.